there's another project we want to show, and I bring it up because it also has some non-standard advertising. And then I thought we could ask, talk a little bit about the. And it's a Google project. Uh, what's that? And it's a Google. Yeah. Project. So why don't you tell us before we get to the clip? Uh, why don't you tell us about it? It's uh, Peter Melman's Narrow World of Sports. Um, right? It's called Narrow World of Sports, and um, it's actually. It, it, it's Peter Melman it comes from the Seinfeld camp. He was one of the uh, senior writers for Larry David um, for a bunch of years. Uh, then actually did a show at ABC after that. And you'll see when you, when you see Peter, he actually has a lot of similarities to Larry in mannerism and look. So he created a brand with us because we're all about brands. We have very little interest in just doing one-off shows. Uh, and the brand is uh, Narrow World, and uh, P Peter did some, um, some videos of the Narrow World of Sports. And what he did is he interviewed, did like two or three minute interviews with a bunch of iconic um, sports figures in a, with a tone that was very, very unique and very, very distinctive. Palm um, took, uh, uh, sponsored it, and uh, we worked with Google and YouTube in um, uh, creating a, a plan where uh, the, the, the videos were launched for four Sundays in August, uh, three videos each Sunday. We would have the masthead on the, uh, on the Google, uh, on, the, on the YouTube homepage. Uh, David Dowd, who is here, was actually one of our godfathers uh, in, in doing that. Um, and, and Alex Levy, who is not here, but David and Alex were fantastic partners. And uh, so we would get our traffic from both the YouTube homepage and the videos would be syndicated out on the Google network uh, through their gadget. And so uh, uh, there'd be a list of sites that, uh, you know, MSNB, uh, uh, New York Times, sports, or wherever the, the content made sense. That's where the, the, uh, the, the, the gadget would, would, would appear with, with the rich media being um, uh, our video show. And it performed wonderfully. I think we ended up doing about a, a million six videos, uh, video views, and uh, the ratings were, I think, among the best you guys have ever had. Yeah, Every, well, let's take a look, and yeah. I should also point out, because I know you're supposed to be transparent, our discussion here with YouTube actually sort of sponsoring this event is actually unintentional branded content. Um, so uh, we sort of unintentionally are talking about YouTube, but I know we're supposed to be transparent even about unintentional things. Well, so we why spend don't we... most of the time talking about Microsoft. There we go. So, so, all right. I, think, I think we're safe. Okay. You know, being the best player in a team sport isn't all fun and games. Actually, it's about 93% fun and games. But the other 7% is people saying to you that no matter how good you are, you can't be great unless you make your teammates better. If you're accused of not being a team player, it's like being accused of treason. I tried to talk to someone who was accused of treason, but he was electrocuted. So I talked to a basketball player. Well, I'm uh, here. I am. I'm here with um, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, after a playoff game, do you give the referees a bigger tip than you do during regular season games? No, I try to keep it steady. Oh. Twenty dollars. Oh, okay. That's Pretty nice. good. I used to do ten percent, but then I kind of wised up. If there were a trade on the table in which you could have Barack Obama's brain and Barack Obama could have your game, mm -hmm. who would go for that deal first? Well, I have his brain already, so, and I have you know, the physical skills that I have, so I'm good. So obviously he's going to go good. for the deal way I can, I can handle foreign policy and all that stuff. I can take care of it. Right. Yeah, you just swear me in. I got it. You're not old enough. Damn. You got four years. Damn. If after a game, you happen to say to the press, no, it wasn't really a team effort. I pretty much won this all on my own. Right. I mean, would the world explode? Um, I'd probably laugh. I'd probably <laughs> laugh. It'd be funny. You could use that. I could. Yeah. I could. If I do, you know it's yeah. for you. And if I get flat, yeah. it's your fault. At this point in the interview, I thought Kobe was getting too attached to me. A little too clingy. So I backed him off a little. 
This concept of playing for your country, I understand if you played Bin Laden one-on-one, -on -one, isn't that playing for your country? Yeah, probably. What would happen if you played him? I'd dunk right in his face. How many times? Oh, every chance I get. Tomahawk? Oh. Bah! <laughs> Toward the end of the interview, I threw Kobe a bone and let him sit next to me again. You're named after a steak. Wouldn't it be unbelievably cool if you came out as a vegetarian? Yeah, yeah, I'd be a hero. Yeah. But no, won't do that. But you know, it's funny because my middle name is Bean. Yeah, if your last name was like Berger, it would be unbelievable. Would that be funny? I always feel like if you score 55 points on 22 of 30 shooting mm -hmm. and the team happens to lose, why do you have to feel bad? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Do you ever stop in the middle of your day and say to yourself, holy sh**, I'm Kobe Bryant? Nah. <laughs> nah. So you're used to it. <laughs> Man, if I were you, I would stop in the middle of the day, like 10 times a day, going, I don't believe it, I'm Kobe Bryant. <laughs> don't have that reaction. Hmm. But it's, uh, it's fun, though. <laughs> Yeah, Michael. All right. Yeah, Kobe. Good people. Just, you know, they're very fun three minute videos. The Palm integrate, I mean, Palm would absolutely love their integrations. We uh, wrote those with Peter. They're all, every, every video had a different integration um, that would show the functionality of the phone in, in some way, shape, or form. And, you know, audience will go for that. They, they don't mind shameless integrations when it fits organically into the content. But, it, you know, what, what, what was great about it was the, the video wasn't about the palm or the, it, it, or the attributes of the palm. It was, it was just content people wanted to see, and then we figured out a way to have Palm in there in a way that, that really sort of showed off what they wanted to show about the phone. Right. But I mean, when I look at this, I mean, it's, it's very funny, first of all, and then you have Kobe Bryant. So that when I look at this, it's sort of like... Who else did you book? Well, you know, no. first of all, how, like, did you have issues having Kobe Bryant? Because in some sense, he's pimping for Palm, even though he's not. Mm -mm. Like, does that become an issue, or does he not care? Or No, these guys, you know, everything they do ha is advertised or supported in some way, shape, mm -hmm. or form. Um, and so it's no different than him doing an interview on ESPN and having an They have advertisers. I mean, right. you, you always have to be careful about implied endorsements in, in anything that you do. But, um, you know, advertising is now so integrated. There's product placement in so many television shows that um, it, it's, we didn't have a problem with that at all. Um, we didn't lose anybody we wanted to book because they were concerned about an endorsement issue. Right. We, we, we had one person that we lost because they had a very robust deal with a rival okay. and felt it was inappropriate, and they were right. Yeah. It would have been inappropriate. Right. But the person we lost was really good. It was terrible. <laughs> um, but uh, so can, you know, when you go to the actual YouTube page, it's very Palm branded. Yep. Um, so can this show move on from Palm to another sponsor? Or is it like yeah, it's it just can. a Palm thing and then it's it done? It can, although we love Palm. We, 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 we're going to make, we're going to do more. And the brand is, is, is not just going to be now a world of sports, it's now a world. So you can, you, can, you can imagine the fun we could have in the world of celebrity, in the world of politics. Um, and uh, Peter is, we think, has all the attributes of sort of a, of, of, of becoming a real sort of a hit in the internet world. And so what we're really looking at is how how do we want to push the brand out, both in terms of the internet, but also on other platforms? How do we want to, make, you know, we're talking about how we deal with him in television. Um, again, it's about taking a brand and, and managing that brand. And then in terms of what platform it, it belongs on, that's a function for every brand in terms of what's organic, what makes sense, where is there a business, Right. All of those things. So give me, I know you probably can't talk like budget numbers per episode or anything like that, but. Cheap. Is it, I was going to ask you, is this expensive? Is it cheap? Is having Kobe Well, Bryant, we made money. We expensive? made money. Peter made money. Uh -huh. YouTube made money. And it was 
fantastic for and Palm. And is it a big buy? Is that like a big buy for Palm to do something like this, or is it you know is this a premium I, spend for them? Do you have any idea? I don't think so, David. Was it a big buy for them? Well, it's part of their part of the launch of the new product. Sure. Let's put it this way: If you spent, uh, if you bought two 30-second spots on two highly-rated shows of any television series, you would spend more money than yeah. than all of this cost, hook, line, and sinker together. I mean, it, okay. it, it's so relatively speaking, it's very, very inexpensive. So